Don't have $3,500 to spend on the Apple Vision Pro? If you don't need the Apple brand, there's some alternatives with high quality pass through VR at much lower price points. In this video, we're going to show you the best Apple Vision Pro alternatives you can buy right now if you can't quite afford the Vision Pro. Kicking off the list, we have the Rokit or JY. If office work and media consumption are the only reason you are in the market for a VR headset, the Rokit AR Joy is an incredible buy. The cyberpunk looking glasses create a virtual 32 inch OLED display so you can consume content on a larger screen. To use the Rokit AR Joy, you need to connect them to your smartphone or a PC. When you do this, anyone looking at the monitor you sync with will literally see you staring at a blank screen, which can be handy when you want to handle sensitive documents in the office. The glasses come with a fully equipped Android TV 12 ecosystem, granting you access to millions of TV episodes and movies. The glasses also support streaming if you prefer gaming on a big screen. Essentially, if you are a cyberpunk fan and you have $499 lying around, this one is a no-brainer. The HTC Vive Flow is another VR device in the form of a sunglass. It is more compact than the Apple Vision Pro, but there's no way you can mistake it for regular glasses, which is a weird place to be. The HTC Vive Flow is lightweight and you can wear it for hours without breaking a sweat. The glasses offer a basic VR experience to anyone looking to try mixed reality technology for the first time. The Vive Flow is immersive, but is not a traditional headset. It is more similar to smart glasses, and it even features large colored reflective lenses that let you know it is not ordinary glasses. The HTC Vive Flow does not have a power source, so you need to connect the glasses to a battery pack or a smartphone with a USB-C cable to use it. The glasses boast an impressive 3,200 resolution split between the two lenses in a 100 degree field of view. There's a 75 HS refresh rate as well as an intuitive user interface. Unfortunately, the VR glass is not compatible with all smartphones, so keep that in mind before you shell out $499 for it. Moving on, at number three, we have the MetaQuest 3. Now, if you are in the market for a VR headset that does most of the things the Apple Vision Pro does, the MetaQuest 3 is the best of the bunch. Before the launch of the Vision Pro, the MetaQuest 3 was the go-to for anyone trying to experience mixed reality headsets and for good reason. Apart from going for a fraction of the price of the Vision Pro, it also features some remarkable tech. The headset is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor and boasts 2K resolution per eye thanks to the Chris Twin LCD lenses. While the resolution is nowhere near the 3660 by 3200 pixels resolution of the Vision Pro, you can still expect vivid and clear pictures with a 90 Hz refresh rate. The MetaQuest 3 also comes with a wider field of view compared to the Apple headset and even lets you play VR games, which is interesting because the Vision Pro can only play a few 2D games. The Quest 3, on the other hand, essentially comes with a feature that lets you stream tailor-made VR games from platforms like Steam. So if gaming is a top priority for you, the MetaQuest 3 is a clear winner here. The headset also benefits from having an extensive library of apps specially designed for mixed reality. At just 499, the headset isn't without some cons though. Battery life is surprisingly poor with a full charge only lasting two hours. The Xreal Air 2 Pro gives you the virtual reality experience without the chunky size of the Vision Pro. With the X-Real Air 2 Pro, looks like regular sunglasses, weighs like regular sunglasses, and still creates a virtual personal TV screen for you. The Air 2 Pro isn't a compact computer per se with all the virtual rendering and mixed reality elements. Instead, the glasses create a mirror of whatever you have on your phone, game console or computer in the virtual reality space. What this means is you are the only one who sees what is being displayed on the screen you are connected to. Of course, you need a USB-C cable to connect the glasses, but the whole setup process is quite simple, really. The X-Real Air 2 Pro simulates a 1080p, 130-inch virtual screen making gaming and movie binging quite immersive. The VR glasses also come with a bunch of electrochromic dimming options to block or reduce ambient light while consuming media. There's even an option to buy an X-Real Beam accessory for an extra 118 bucks to unlock premium features like a side view screen, 
that lets you move your virtual screen to a corner so you can focus on the real world through the glasses. The Beam accessory also seamlessly syncs with handheld consoles like Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch, allowing you to play your favorite handheld games for hours without getting a stiff neck. What's more, you don't have to worry about the X Real Air Pro 2 running out of juice as long as your phone, PC, laptop, or gaming console is running. That said, the glasses aren't a standalone VR device on its own, and as good as the display quality is, many powerful devices on the market do the job better. And in the first spot, we have the MetaQuest Pro. So remember the MetaQuest 3 we mentioned before? This is basically the big brother. The MetaQuest Pro takes everything the Quest 3 headset does and significantly improves them. Think of it like the premium MetaQuest 3. Designed for the commercial niche and other segments like engineering and architecture, the headset comes with eye tracking, which is not present in the Quest 3. Eye tracking means everywhere your eyeballs move, there is a virtual reality being simulated. One of the biggest selling points of the Apple Vision Pro is how seamlessly it implements virtual reality in the real world. And a big reason for this is the different tracking cameras and sensors it uses to create the virtual experience. The headset also comes with a slightly better processor compared to the Quest 3. So overall, a much smoother performance while using the MetaQuest Pro. You do have to shell out 909 if you want the premium tech the Quest Pro offers. Now, instead of repeating everything we've said about the Quest 3, because that's pretty much what you get from the Quest Pro, we will do a small comparison of the Quest Pro and the Vision Pro. In terms of performance, the Apple Vision Pro beats the Quest Pro easily. Sure, gestures and navigating the operating system are snappy on both headsets. The feeling is just more responsive on the Vision Pro. The Meta Quest Pro comes with a massive library of productivity apps and games, which the Apple Vision Pro currently does not have. Robust gaming is currently not possible on the Apple Vision Pro, with 2D swipe games still the only ones you can play on Apple's new VR headset. However, the display and software implementation on the Vision Pro remain unmatched by the Quest Pro or any other VR headset on the market at the moment. And there you have it. What do you think of the VR headsets on our list? And have you experienced using any of them? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next one, bye.